Zinger again. Mm -hmm. And she bent her over and fucked her with a strap on. That's awesome. Um, That's graphic. Have you heard of the band Graveyard? Yes. Do you like them? They're not bad. Yeah. I've been trying to get into them more and more. Uh, my buddy, who is a fucking music fucking wasteoid, uh, told me about them one day, and I was like, well, fuck it. I, I'll listen to anything once. Hell, I'll listen to anything four times. Uh, and I've been infatuated with these guys for, I don't know, a year and a half. See, yeah, I've never been a fan of any band. Like, I just don't give a fuck enough, but Janet oh. Tortures, dude, I fucking love them. Right. They remind me of Guar. Oh, Except, Graveyard? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, they, well, they have the kind of, uh, doesn't give a fuck about what society says they should think. I uh, it's I certainly, it's not as graphic, but... Well, I, was gonna say, I honestly think Graveyard has more talent. You just gotta get um, kind of... Yeah, holy shit, I mean, did we just like win a second hard. game? Yeah, we did. Wow, weird. Marley's lady is fucking carrying us right now. Way to go, girl. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Guar is solid. I think their drummer lacks a lot, but, uh... Look, yeah, they're solid musicians, but I feel Graveyard is their musicians, technically. They're, well, they're much more technical than uh, Guar could ever hope to be. They do. Concerned. They do. They actually change time signatures and stuff, and do things that are progressive music, like, like. Yeah. Again, nothing against Guar, but really, they're the ACDC of heavy metal. Hmm. That seems like a weird statement. Um. But think about ACDC has. You know, they, they've got enough talent. Well, to play. I mean, they're good. Listen, I consider ACDC heavy metal, so. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm weird for that, but whatever. Like 70s metal. Hair metal. Yeah. Yeah. It's not heavy metal, you know? I don't know. I mean, Angus Young is pretty fucking amazing. Well, again, I'm not downing either band. Yeah. It, they're, they're, they're two very different bands. I don't know that that's a fair comparison. Well, I'm saying I think skill-wise they're about equal. I think uh, They're good. I think it would be fair to compare them to all that remains. Okay. Yeah. In terms of in terms of technical skill, I think the two of them could fucking you know their two guitarists could the four of them could stand in a room and be on the same page. Yeah, definitely. That said, I think all that remains is by and away one of the most technical bands that we've seen in the last 10 years. Yeah, but the last 10 years have not exactly been great. Well, let me put it this way. I tried out for All That Remains about 7 years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was the highlight of my musical career. Very cool. Yeah. It was a lot of fun, and they are really cool cats. Um, they're... Um... One thing that I will say is when they're really into a song, they play a lot faster than they do on their albums. Um, but, uh, you know, that's tr that's true of 90% of music out there. It, when they're really into it, they kind of up-tempo things. Um, the only song I've never heard that done with is Crazy Train. They can't. It's such an iconic song. Yeah, I, what are they going to do? Zach Wilde couldn't possibly play any faster than Randy Rhodes did on the original. I don't think Randy Rhodes could have played faster than that. I, I think he could have, and I think he did in live shows, but unfortunately he dies just like right after. I know, but even then... <sighs> that dude, he's up there with Hendrix, and if he lived longer, he would be... I, I'm not sure which would be number one in terms of guitar players. You know, the thing is, I'm super impressed with Hendrix. Really? For his time, he was amazing. I loved what he did, and I think if he lived another ten years, he would be number one on everybody's list in the entire fucking world. I agree with you. I do. But the problem is, he was good, damn good for his time. Yep. But he needed more polish. Yeah. He, well, <laughs> I think that was part of his beauty. 
he was uh, very raw. Yeah. And it, that's what was cool about him. I like the rawness. He, and he had polish, but it was uh, a different kind of polish than, um, say, uh, what was his name, Jeff Beck? Or, uh, uh, fucking, uh, Frank Zappa. Oh, the, the three of them, I think, are... They're, they're just the bees knees of that era. Now, I'm trying to think. There was, there's some fucking guitarist everybody screams about him. I fucking hate him. I don't think he has any fucking talent at all. Joe Satriani? Oh, come on. Are you for real, Otori? Are, are you gonna get kicked out of the fucking group for that? I don't think that was... I don't think <laughs> You're a jerk. I fucking hate you. If you were in this game right now, I would shoot you in the fucking back. No, <laughs> no I won't. Like a, this guy, he played with Van Halen for like a month. And then he well, quit. no one cares. <laughs> well, I, Van Halen is Eddie Van Halen, and if you think of any other guitarist in that band, you're fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, everybody talks about how this guy was, and I'm like, what are you saying? Uh, are you talking about Sammy Hagar? Because he was more of a vocalist than a guitarist. I, I listen. I like Hagar a lot more than I like uh, what's his name, uh, David Lee Roth. Yeah. I I will be honest. I listen to more Hagar, uh, Van Halen than I do Van, than uh, Lee Lee Roth. And a lot of people criticize me for that, but you know what? They can go fuck themselves. You know, Roth. I like his solo work. He was better solo than he was uh, with Van Halen. His solo work was pretty okay. You know who else I miss? I like Dr. Roxo. Fucking Aqualung. Jethro Tull. That was a fantastic song. Actually, Chaz, band I used to play with, and if you ever, because I know they're headed down your way. They're, they're hitting it big now. They're yeah. Bigger. Uh, they're called Fuck Me Daddy. You don't see them. Fuck. Well, it's an me all female heavy metal. Daddy. All right, I've... Uh, I was their bassist while the one girl was uh, pregnant. Hmm. I did not know that you played the bass. Yes, I do. How about that? I play um, do you have any interest in working on a project that has to do with a lot of progressive shit? Because I'm uh, headed in that direction. How the hell would I even meet up with you? Doesn't have to be in fucking person, man. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Shut up, Mike. Me Megan. The you only, only, only one band has been successful, and they call themselves the United States Post Office. I'm just saying, I, I don't have the capacity to play the bass very well. I'm a massively mediocre bassist. I don't know I, why you yelled at me. Because you yelled at me, <laughs> didn't you? Was was Marley's lady the one that was yelling at me? No, it was mostly I don't... me. Alright, well, you were saying things to me that were not very kind, and I don't appreciate that, Megan. I will get emo on your ass. He can't even. What, what, what do I, what, what? I can't even go up the I literally can't even. I can't even. Now, what instruments do you not play? It may have become just more interesting. I play the guitar, I play the bass, and I play the saxophone, and I play the drums. But I am very fucking poor at the bass. Alright, well, would you like to, uh... Well, alright, you know what? You are all in the goddamn band, alright? The 66 is forming a band right now. Congratulations, you're all fucking recruited. Shut the fuck up, Sean. I can play the game. Well, you know what? You're a goddamn hero for it. I was gonna say, Chaz, I can... I can play any string instrument. Yeah? Any bass, anything brass. I can do percussion, I'm not great at it. Well, that's fine, because I'm a really good drummer. I'm, yeah, an, I'm an AB level drummer. Hey, you just tripped out my corpse. I can play, um, bass, I can play, um, cello. Yeah. Ouch. Hello. I can yeah, do a cello, come on. <laughs> can you? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's good, because 
I have had struggled. I've struggled with the piano since I was in my fucking preteens, man. It's a bad guy. I, I'm not great. Yeah. I'm. You're. You're probably better than me. Uh, if I write you a line, can you fucking play it? Fuck. Maybe. Maybe. As long as it's not like fucking sixty sixty fourths all over the place. Yeah. If you get above about a quarter or a sixteenth, I'm gonna tell you to go fuck yourself. Yeah, that's that's fine. I I mean the parts that I've written are between a sixteenth and a quarter, and there's the there's a lot of syncopation Wisconsin? involved. Okay, have you ever heard the song Old Wisconsin? It's also called Old Ragtime. Da 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 da. They're dropping da, 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 da. Yes. One? Yeah. That's about as, that, that's the most difficult piece I can play. That's fine, because I, I'm gonna tell you right now, my fucking piano skills are about quarter notes. And it's it's painful to listen to me play. I know a song by heart on the piano. Well, you know what, Megan? Go oh my god, <laughs> yes. No. Thank Just you. Songs on the lake. Megan, oh, stop it. Stop it, Megan. You're 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 killing me a little bit. <laughs> yes, you are. You literally are. I literally am not. Yes. I think I know. Who's killing me and who's not killing me? <laughs> but I haven't done anything wrong. No, you haven't, but you're you still killing me. Oh, you know, well, I got the harmonica in the bag, Ben. What is it? No. Can you play a laser harp? No, but I can play Zephyr. They're pretty amazingly rare. Well, I'll be honest, laser harp is the most interesting instrument that I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> Hold on. Shut right up, here. Megan. No, it's not. It wasn't at you. I apologize. That was bad timing. <laughs> 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 yeah. Most of the things that I write are, uh, they, they sound... Uh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I can't pay attention for a while. I have a head in my lap. <laughs> uh, Alright. Let me know when you're done. I'll, I'll just sit here watching our team struggle horribly. <laughs> we have one guy left, and they're not even shooting at him. This is embarrassing. Our team embarrassing. is bad, and their team is really bad. What the fuck happened? How did we get to this point? You happened. Shut up, Megan. You are such a jerk. <laughs> it's okay. Continue. I do not know what that is, but I, I will tell you, here are the things that I have on lockdown. I've got the guitar, I've got the drums, and I've got the harmonica. I really need a fucking vocalist. Oh, don't look at me. Nope. I can do the harmonies. I cannot do the lead. Because, I mean, okay. you've heard me talk. Yeah. You sound look, awful. I can... <laughs> <laughs> wow, Megan. You're such a jerk. <laughs> No. See, here's here's who we need as my fucking vocalist. I need Frost to stop being such an asshole about things and get back here and do the fucking vocals. Because oh, he wow. can fucking sing. Kid has a voice. Yeah, I, I don't, but I'll do it anyway. Well, fuck you, you're not invited. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is why I am not. The reason I am not a professional bassist is because I sound like Buddy Holly when I sing. I'm you don't. Kidding. Whatever. That. that yeah. Agreed. Fuck. He was, but nobody wants a baritone anymore. The, your bass is supposed to sing bass. Um. I don't know. I I like to have a wide variety of range in all parts that I write. Um. Yeah. See, I yeah. Like I said, I can. If you played Buddy Holly, I can sing. Yeah. I will sound like Buddy Holly. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, man. Some of the bass parts that I write, they ride up into the 16th fret. And I'm not talking about the E string. Yeah, but I can't, I can't go low enough. That's fine. You don't have to but sing. I can, I can as long as you can play it, I don't care. Oh, I can play 
it, but I could I could throw harmony.